Follow the Money. Written and illustrated by Laureen Leedy. So George, how was your day? I was under a lot of pressure at first. I was stamped out at the U.S. Mint. Ouch! We're in mint condition. Then I fell into a bag. Let me out of here! We were all loaded into a truck. Where are they taking us? The driver took us to a Federal Reserve Bank. Next, we went to a local bank. The bank kept us in tight rolls. I need some change for my store, please. It is way too crowded in here. I wondered where we were going. I smell bananas. This looks like a grocery store. Clink, clink, we fell into the cash register. We introduced ourselves. Hello, my name is Abraham Lincoln. I'm Thomas Jefferson. Franklin D. Roosevelt here. I'm George Washington. John F. Kennedy is my name. I'm George Washington too. Just call me Abe. Alexander Hamilton is my name. And I'm Andrew Jackson. What are those people doing? They are looking for a good buy. They must be penny pinchers. Hey! People found the products they wanted. Then they came to the checkout. Your total is $19.75. Here is $20. Thank you. Your change is a quarter. I wonder where she will take me. We were bouncing around in a very dark place. I was the first president of the United States. So was I. I'm Susan B. Anthony. I helped women get the vote. I'm Sacagawea. I guided Lewis and Clark on their expedition. We finally slowed down. The lady gave me to the clown in exchange for a balloon. I had no idea what would happen next. The clown dropped me into a vending machine. Hey, it's cold and dark in here. I was trapped. Then I heard footsteps. She didn't have exact change, so I escaped. We zoomed away in her truck. It's allowance day already? She gave me to her little boy. He almost added me to his state quarter collection. Ah, I already have this state. He put me into his piggy bank instead. Here comes another one. It's getting crowded in here. He is saving us for something. I wonder how much money I've saved so far. Then he shook us out and started counting. I'm falling. I have enough. The boy took us on a ride. He used us to buy a toy airplane. That'll be $15. Somebody needed change for a dollar. Shazam! So the store owner gave him four quarters, including yours truly. Three of us went into a parking meter, but I ended up in the young man's pocket. I wasn't in the pocket long. There was a hole in it. Uh-oh. Help! I bounced along, then rolled to a stop. No one noticed me for a long time. Hey, watch it. Finally, a little girl rescued me. I found a quarter. Thank you so much, miss. She took me into a candy store. I could buy a bunch of candy, or I could donate this money to charity. The little girl didn't buy anything. She gave me away instead. Soon a lady came to pick up the donations. Here's what we collected this week. Thank you for helping our animals. I was inside a dark place again. Last week I was on a roller coaster. That's nothing. I got run over by a bulldozer. We went into a pet store. I helped buy food for the shelter animals. That will be $25, please. It was fun to be in the pet shop most of the time. Ouch! Bad bunny! The pet store ran out of parakeets, so the manager ordered more. Hello, Bob. Can you deliver 10 baby parakeets? They are $4.95 each, right? Right. Yep, your total is $49.50. Now the pet shop had parakeets to sell. Bob drove to his house. 
He washed his clothes, and me too. Money makes the world go round. Hello! After a long time, Bob's wife took out the laundry. Hey, it's a quarter. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Cough, cough. Mrs. Bob took me to a yard sale. These are bargains. For the necklace, mirror, and teapot, that's four twenty-five, please. I'm in the money. I'm in the money. She turned her trash into treasure. We drove to a store full of plants. How much is this tree? That one is thirty dollars. I'll take all of these. Your total is twenty-three fifty minus a two-dollar coupon, which makes it twenty-one fifty. They say money doesn't grow on trees, but it does in this store. I helped buy new plants for her garden. Today is payday. Nice job. I became part of the young man's weekly wages. You worked a total of six hours at five twenty-five an hour, so here is thirty-one dollars and fifty cents. Thanks. See you next week. He used me to pay back a loan. Hey, here's the money I owe you. It's about time. We left in a hurry. Please add this to my savings account. I was back in the bank again. Wee! Sounds as if you had a great day. I wonder where I'll go tomorrow. More about money. Who needs money? Before there was money, there was barter. People traded goods or services directly. I'll fix your cart if you'll give me that piglet. Okay. One problem with bartering is that you may not have what the other person wants. I'll trade you this grapefruit for your apple. I don't want grapefruit. Do you have any bananas? It can be difficult to carry and store the items you have to trade. Where are you going with that bowling ball? To the store to buy some crayons. It's hard to save up for the future without money. These potatoes will pay for your college education. Won't they rot before then? People all over the world looked for something durable and easily carried to use for money. In the past, a variety of objects were used, including beads, stones, and salt. Metals such as copper, gold, and silver became popular and are still used today to make coins. These days, most money is in the form of paper bills. Money in the United States. The currency in the USA has had many different designs. The paper bills have recently been redesigned, including the five-dollar bill and larger. One reason is to make it more difficult for criminals to print counterfeit money. Check for these features to make sure a bill is authentic. Security thread. Hold the bill up to the light to see the words USA 20 and a tiny flag. Each denomination's security thread is in a different position. Watermark. Hold the bill up to the light to see a hidden portrait similar to the main portrait. Color shifting ink. The number in the lower right corner looks green when viewed directly. It's black when viewed at an angle. All of the redesigned bills, except for the five-dollar bill, have this ink. Micro printing. Each bill has very small printing that is readable with a magnifier. Paper. The paper feels sturdy and has red and blue fibers in it. Fine line printing patterns. The fine lines behind the portrait are difficult to copy. To find out more about paper money, visit the website of the Bureau of Engraving at www.bep.treasure.gov. Coins are made by the U.S. Mint in one of four locations: Philadelphia, Pennsylvania; Denver, Colorado; San Francisco, California; West Point, New York. Tours are available. In 1998, the U.S. Mint began the 50 States Quarters program, which has been very popular. A custom-designed quarter for each state will be issued one by one until all 50 states are released by 2008. Many people, young and old, have enjoyed collecting the special quarters. For more information about the program and U.S. coins in general, visit the Mint's website at www.usmint.gov. Money words: allowance, bank, bargain, barter. Cash, cent, change, charity, counterfeit, currency, dime, dollar, donate, 
earn, half dollar, loan, mint, nickel, o, payday, penny, penny pincher, quarter, save, wage.